learned so far during this pandemic? This pandemic has tremendously affected our daily life, right? We are rapidly adjusting to learn and socialize remotely from home, spending more time with family and second best in comfort and convenience for the greater good. It forces us to adapt to changes that is happening in the education system. What was used to be known as a formal education in school, it is now known as learning from home with an online system. Online classes are very confusing to adjust to because even though the normal classes may have been difficult, but having friends around us makes it so much more manageable and less stressful, right? Because we share real emotion in real time. Online classes takes out those benefits and leave us stuck alone with nothing but an overwhelming assignment and a study material that is very hard to understand. Not to mention online exam. Oh my god, so hard. And this is the obstacle that every student must face during the pandemic. But have you ever thought about it? I mean like really think deeply about it. That all of the obstacles we're facing during this pandemic is actually not that bad. If you can see it from another perspective, even though I personally took a long time to understand that, it's up to us on how we want to react about it. So now, it's up to you. Are you going to adapt to the current situation and continue to develop? Or are you going to complain and pile up your own problems and let yourself drawn to the situation? The choice is in your hand. But I believe that in every obstacles, in every challenges we're facing, there will be a solution. For example, we start simple. An overwhelming assignment. Solution? Challenge yourself. Try to be more disciplined and learn on how to manage your time. So when the teacher gave you an assignment, don't postpone it. Do it in the right moment it was given. So you won't pile up your assignment and there will be no such thing as an overwhelming assignment. Second, take advantages of what the technology has served you. You can always use Google, right? If you have a study material that is very hard or you have to finish an assignment, you can use it. Besides, there's a lot of apps that you can use, like from Google, Zinnius, Quiver, or the easiest one, YouTube. Because YouTube is a media platform that not just provide entertainment, but also provide education. There are a lot of YouTube channels that can explain you about an assignment and a study material if you don't understand it. Just try to search it. And last but not least, stay optimist. Because when you keep optimistic, you can turn a situation upside down. You can change the draining thoughts of pessimism with more positive and enthusiasm again. And it can help you to jump over obstacles and to help you to not give up even when you fall or when you stumble. So empower yourself because empowerment means being truthful to yourself and to others that is around you. It also means to take responsibilities and to keep working so you can reach your maximum potential. Because we as youth are the agent of changes. We are needed to help build a better and inclusive world. So, there are three simple steps to help you empower yourself. First, always open up to new possibilities. So find something new, find something to do, 
learn something, create something, be innovative during this pandemic. This is your chance. Second, you have to focus on who you are. Focus on who you want to be. Focus on what you are going to do in the meantime as responses to challenges during pandemic. And last, always believe in yourself, okay? Because when you believe in yourself, you can empower yourself to move towards your goals. Look, I know that this is very hard time. I know that what we're facing right now is temporary, but it doesn't feel that way. We know the world has changed, and it has. So, as students, as agents of changes, you have to keep empowering yourself. You have to keep develop and improve yourself. So don't give up and always believe in yourself, okay? Just remember, always challenge yourself, try to be disciplined, and learn on how to manage your time. Second, you have to take advantages of what technology has served you. And last, you have to stay optimistic and always empower yourself. You also have to stay calm and be grateful for what you have. Look around you. Look what you have. You have to be aware of what you have, be grateful, and use advantages of what you have. Breathe and speak to yourself. This is temporary. This too shall pass. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.